We love a well-constructed lasagna, but all of that layering, it's a lot for a busy weeknight. So my next guest has a brilliant solution. We're rolling out a new way to cook it, skillet style. Our friend Lindsay Hargett might forever change the way you look at and make lasagna. Hey, sister. Hey. I need all the dinner ideas right now. I am back to it. It is business. Dinner is on. Yes. Why is this a good method? This is truly easy weeknight dinner comfort food style. Great. So Great. now normally, you know, I come on here and I say, it's not that hard. I want you to do it. I want you to do the hard things. Not today. Today okay. we're doing simple. Easy so, road. Yes. Easy road. So we have all of the same components of lasagna. You know, we've got our meat here, but one thing we're doing ground beef and Italian sausage. We get oh. a little extra flavor here. You can kind of smell it. See, there's the chef. Yeah, there's there we the go. chef. We're still her. fancy, but so we brown this. So we still got the meat and then we're going to add our sauce in, but this is my favorite thing mm -hmm. is, you know, you could make a homemade tomato basil sauce, but Let's be real. The ones from the grocery store are pretty dang good. You they can get a really good one from Costco. Do it. Yes. That's what I make at home. I'll be honest. Okay. So we're just gonna add tomato basil sauce in here. You could do marinara. You could do like a roasted red pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to get fancy. But so we've just got this. We're gonna do a little bit of some spices. Do you want to throw a little bit sure. of Italian seasoning? Just give yep. it a little sprinkle in there. We're not getting too fancy. Yep. So um, we've got a little red pepper flakes. Just a hit. Okay. We don't want to go too crazy. Okay. So we've got some flavors in here. So again, we have all the same components of lasagna. So we've got our meat, we've got our, our sauce, mm -hmm. but, and then, so we're going to make our noodles. Now, normally I do like a farfalle pasta, like a bow tie, because it kind of gives the same, you know, noodles don't taste different in different shapes, but I will agree with the kids, they kind of do. So you want it to mimic lasagna. The ripple, the ridge, the texture. Yes, yeah. you can't add like spaghetti in here or else it's not lasagna, it's spaghetti. <laughs> so, but I actually found these cool little like, they look like little oh. lasagna sheets. Aren't they fun? How so, about that? Perfect, right? But they're mini. Yeah. Okay. So, perfect. Great. But either way, just do a short pasta, mm -hmm. cook that separately so it's not technically one pot, but you're cooking pasta, you've got it all in one pot. I'm gonna pot. say one and a half. It's, yeah, exactly. Because the pasta dishwash is really nothing. Exactly, we it's got not it. a big deal. Okay. So, if you wanna dump those into here. Just dump? Uh-huh, okay. we're dumping and going. Okay. So, we've got our pasta, we've got our sauce. Here, snag me those Gives two. those guys. Yep. And then, so instead of doing all the layering, where we've got the sauce, the pasta, and then the cheese, mm -hmm. like the cheese, the ricotta cheese mixture, which mm -hmm. we're gonna make in a second, mm -hmm. we're just adding it all in one. Now, you could, Serve it here. So we're gonna like stir it all together and get all the sauce incorporated and everything. You could dish this up immediately from the skillet and we're gonna make our, our cheese sauce here. So okay. we have ricotta. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna dump that in there, we're just gonna mm -hmm. dump and go. It's getting bossy. Mm -hmm. We've got a little bit of mozzarella. You want okay. low moisture mozzarella. There are two different kinds, like the really soft one in a ball. Did I know this? Yeah, okay. Is high moisture. We don't want that here. We don't want the added moisture. So we have just like a brick that you'd grate. Okay. Some Parmesan cheese. You always wanna do freshly grated here. Um, and then we're gonna add an egg yolk. There it comes. Mm -hmm. You can't we take the chef out fancy. of the kitchen. <laughs> exactly. I respect So it. we're gonna stir that all together. Okay. And then you could, like I said, you could serve this straight from the dish and dollop this on top like a little bit of sour cream. So Your cheese it, mixture. Serve it hot and then this little dollop just kind of melts it. Yeah, okay. or if you wanna get just a smidge fancier, I lied, we're getting a little fancy. <laughs> but uh, you could uh, dollop this on top of the skillet once uh -huh. it's all stirred together, throw it in the oven for just five minutes while you're getting the kids actually to the table. Okay. And then it will kind of melt through and everything. So oh, yeah. you could go either way. Mm -hmm. You could serve it just from the skillet or you could do just a little extra work. I always say the more love you put in, the more love you get out from a dish. Oh. So whatever you wanna do, there. Yeah. We've got some fresh basil you can top it with, garnish it with. Truly done. that simple. Like lasagna done. is done. I mean, I'm, I'm clocking it and I'm saying 30 minutes. Less. Less Truly. than 30. Truly. Beautiful little bowl with the dollops I yes. see and the fresh see? basil. Beautiful. You've got a side for us if we want to step it up. Yes. We need some carbs with our carbs always. <laughs> so <laughs> what goes step. better with carbs than butter? So you could just do a butter, but we're going to make a compound butter. It's just a flavored butter. Uh -huh. Okay. So you soften your butter here and we're going to make a couple different kinds. So you can do just a, like a garlic Parmesan butter, like you would get, you know, a garlic bread loaf from the store, uh -huh. but this way you can get the kids involved. I'm all about getting your kids involved. Um, and if they make it their own, they're a little more willing to eat stuff too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can do, if you want to sprinkle just a little bit, not all of that, but okay. a little bit of parm, maybe Hold a on. couple big pinchfuls. There we go. We got to make it count. We're going to do a little bit of salt. Now, 
you may hate me, this, there's not like a recipe to this, but truly, you can't mess up butter. Actually, if you... I'm kind of enamored by this because the idea of compound butter, I think, is always really attractive. Like, doesn't that yes, sound fancy? it sounds so fancy, and fun. But, look, but the fact that you're just kind of eyeballing it, mixing it together, what is that? It's done. Garlic? This is just minced garlic. Okay. And I so, now. Mm -hmm. so you're gonna mix this together, and here's the thing. If, it, if you get a little piece of roller bread, dip it and taste it. If it doesn't have enough of those flavors, add a little bit more. Uh -huh. If it has too much, add a little bit more butter. You kind of can't ruin this. Ask me what I'm making for dinner tonight. Just ask me. Butter. Please yeah, well, make butter. I'm, listen, I'm, making, I'm making skillet lasagna and compound butter. Yeah, and your kids will think you're so fancy. I, I am. But you can also make a sweet butter. But here's the thing. So we're going to make a strawberry honey butter. Oh. So obviously you're going to add some honey, uh -huh. but you can't add fresh fruit to a butter because, again, it's about moisture. We talked about that with the mozzarella. If you add a fresh fruit, it's going to break or split the butter. Okay. So what you need to do is use freeze-dried fruit. Oh, my goodness. Let your kids... Pound it with a hammer, again, super fun. Or they'll, you pound it with a hammer. They'll love it, you would love exactly. it. Exactly. So you wanna use the dried. Uh -huh. Now I use this when I make buttercream, like flavored buttercreams as well. Okay. So this is basically just a less sugary buttercream okay. that you can put on your rolls. So but you can strawberry have, butter. Yes, it's so much fun, Lindsay, right? It's fantastic. a little dessert. Fantastic. Skillet lasagna, compound butter to go with your carbs and carbs on the mm -hmm. side. We love it. We love it too. Thank you for sharing this recipe. We'll, we'll be waiting for you on our website. Where can we connect with you for more dinner ideas? So lkcooking.com, lkcooking on Instagram, all the places. You cater, you're the star. Yep, all the, all the cooking things. She I'm does here. it all. Keep her in mind for your next event. LK Cooking will link you over from our website. Thank you. Yeah, Great job. Thanks.